If you clicked this video, you likely fit into one of these two categories. The first, you already have a t-shirt store and it's not getting the results that you want. You've spent time and possibly lots of money trying to make sales, but you haven't been profitable, so you're trying to figure out why. And the second is you want to start a t-shirt store and you thought this video seemed interesting, so you clicked it. Now, here is what most people view as the best strategy for print on demand in the year 2021. First, build a Shopify store because with a Shopify store, you own it, you're building your own brand, you can truly create uh, the store and the brand that you've always wanted to have. You can scale it, you can optimize every single page of the store and truly make a great place to sell your unique product. This is what I've done and this is what I've taught other people to do over the last few years. Now, the second part of this is actually getting traffic to your store because you have to make sales somehow, whether it's from Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, Google, or wherever you need that traffic. This is how you're going to get your customers. So in short, this video here that you are watching is for people that are either running a failing t-shirt store or those who are looking to open a t-shirt store and those that are using a direct response marketing approach to sell their product. This means showing our products to people who are considered a cold audience. See, direct response marketing is a unique approach to selling products online. It is an approach that basically asks people to make a purchase after being shown the product. Here's an example. Someone is scrolling along on Facebook. They see a post, whether it's an ad or just a simple post showing a product. They now have a choice. They can either continue scrolling and you know liking pictures of cats and dogs, or they can click it and literally give you their money. I just realized that my mic has been slowly falling down into the frame. I'm gonna prop it right there. The same is true if people uh, were scrolling on Instagram and they happen to come across a post showing a product, they have a choice. They can keep, they can keep scrolling or they can go buy it. And when you see people posting screenshots of big numbers that they are seeing with their print-on-demand stores, they've gotten very good at utilizing direct response marketing. They've gotten very good at making sure that what they're offering is actually going to be something that someone who is not shopping, who is scrolling on social media, is interested enough to actually click their ad or a social media post that is not an ad and go to the store and ultimately give them their money. And most times their success is not based on the strategy that they're using to promote the products, whether it's with ads or an influencer or even just some unique social media strategy that they are implementing in their business. Whether they are generating small amounts or big monthly numbers, they have done something very unique with what they are actually trying to sell. And this something is what we're gonna be talking about today. It's the reason why 99% of people that are selling shirts seem to fail. And just a quick side note, that 99% number is just something that I included uh, in the title of this video to serve essentially as clickbait to get you here. Uh, I have not done any study to actually show that it is 99% failure rate uh, with what I am talking about. In this video, I'll be showing you real print-on-demand stores. I'll be showing some that I believe are going to fail, and I will also show some others that seem to be doing very, very well. This is also going to be a rather long video because I am going to be trying to uh, provide you with as much information as possible. So if you want to use the uh, little tool down in the bottom of this video where you can increase the speed, uh, so that way you can capture all of the information in a shorter amount of time, you can definitely do so. And if you get something out of the video, uh, the one thing you can do to help me out is click the like button because when you click the like button, you're telling the YouTube algorithm that this is good content and maybe someone out there who is trying to find some content to help them with their print on demand store will stumble across my YouTube channel. So again, I really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed, make sure to do so because I upload videos like this every single week and my goal here is to help you start, grow, or scale your print on demand store 
store on Shopify, uh, and I do that through making videos like this. So subscribe, like the video, let's jump into it. Now, let's take a look at our first store. I, mean, I have it on the screen uh, right now. You can see that this is a professional looking store. It, it honestly uh, looks pretty good uh, at first glance. I'm actually getting all of these stores uh, that we're going to be looking at today from the POD Ninjas Facebook group. This is my Facebook group. There's over 42,000 people inside of it. Uh, everybody is trying to run uh, print on demand stores. And from time to time, I ask people to submit stores to be featured here on my YouTube channel in videos. So if you want to join the group, there's a link uh, down in the description. We would love to have you. Now, like I said, at first glance, this store is professional. It has a nice logo. It also has great looking uh, product images. It looks good on a mobile device as well. I checked on my cell phone and from all accounts, this store would check all of the boxes in terms of being a great looking print on demand store. But this store is doomed to fail if they plan to use the strategy I talked about before, which is the direct response marketing strategy, which is what everybody wants to do in terms of running Facebook ads, using Instagram influencers, or even just using their own social media to promote their products. This store is going to fail, and I'm going to tell you why. I would actually bet money that within the next 100 days, this store will close down because they haven't generated any real sales. How can I confidently say this? Well, I started selling print on demand products in 2016. At this point, I have scaled numerous print on demand brands. I have made a bunch of sales uh, with numerous print on demand products. I've even sold print on demand stores on the Shopify store exchange. And at this point, I've also worked with hundreds of other people to help them with their own print on demand stores. Earlier, I showed you screenshots of people posting sales numbers that they were getting getting on their stores, those are actually clients of mine. So at this point, I think I have a pretty good understanding about what works with print on demand and what doesn't, not just from my own businesses, but also what I learned from clients when I am working with them. So why will this store fail? Well, with direct response marketing, one of the most important parts is actually getting people interested in what you are offering, right? They are scrolling social media. They are not shopping. You need a way to actually get them interested. And with print on demand, and this is very hard. Take these three products here, for example. Uh, we have a tripod. Let me just put these ones down. We have a tripod, and it actually has a little remote here that allows you to control whatever device it is that is taking the photos or videos that you are taking. We also have a pair of blue light glasses. These are for people like me who are looking at their computer screen for a large amount of the day and need to protect their eyes from the light of the computer screen. The third product, uh, this is an adapter, which basically is going to plug in on the back of your computer and then it's going to give you front side access to all of your to all of your ports now what do these products have in common well they all solve somebody's problem this means that when promoted in a direct response uh, marketing environment people are going to be interested in the products because they solve a problem that they have and I know what you're thinking Joe Robert this has nothing to do with print on demand. Well, that's the point because print on demand products don't solve anyone's problem. This means when we are marketing our products, people really have no reason to be interested unless we give them one. And this is something that causes so many people to fail because they don't give anyone a reason to actually buy or be interested in their products. This thing that you're going to use to get them interested in your stuff is your niche. A niche is simply just something that people are interested in. It is a passion that they have. It's something that they identify with. And it's just something that is going to get them as they are scrolling to be interested in your product. Now, we're actually going to show some stores later that I still think are going to fail that did choose a niche. But in the meantime, let's go back to the Elegante store. They don't have a niche. They have essentially attempted to create a clothing line. They have just basically made these products with their logo on it. They've sort of created their own brand and they're just putting it on product. And when people are scrolling social media, if they see see posts from this store, they're going to have no interest because this is an unknown brand. It's just a basic uh, 
clothing line that they are creating. I see this sort of thing all the time. People get excited about print on demand. They decide to build out their own brand like Elegante here and attempt uh, to sell uh, using a direct response marketing strategy. It's just simply not something that can work. Now I know there will be people in the comments that say things like, well, Joe, every brand starts somewhere. Of course this store can do it. Don't listen to the haters. Just keep doing your thing and trying to promote your product. And that's true. Maybe 1% of people will succeed with this, but 99% are going to attempt to use Facebook ads or Instagram ads to promote their stuff and no one's going to be interested and they're going to end up closing down the store. Again, I'm not trying to be pessimistic. I'm just sharing my experience and making a video here about why I think most people fail with shirts. And this just happens to be one of those reasons is that they just don't choose a niche. If you do want to make a clothing line, it's going to involve a lot more than just creating a print-on-demand store. You're actually going to have to put the legwork in and focus over five to ten years of growing your brand organically. And that's not really uh, something that lines up with the strategy that most people are trying to do with print-on-demand. At least the one that I have used and the one that I have taught involves creating products and scaling them online quick. I also see stuff like this store here where they essentially just create products and they make abstract designs with patterns and different things that they think looks nice and they create this store that basically doesn't represent a niche and just has a bunch of abstract products that they are going to attempt to sell. And I know what you are thinking. Oh, so if I just choose a niche, I'll be fine. No. Take a look at this store. Here is another example where the owner of the store has essentially created a clothing brand about cars. However, they've just thrown their own logo on the shirt. They've made this all about the brand, not so much the niche. And here's something else uh, that the store is doing where they aren't focusing on their brand, but instead they're creating a niche focused design. Now, this is better, don't get me wrong. However, the approach and the execution here is just not that great. This design is really generic. It honestly just doesn't really jump out as something that I believe people will click on and buy. It's super generic. Same thing here uh, with this store. They've chosen niches, they have products for dads, they have products for moms. I mean, picture this, a mom or a dad scrolling social media, coming across this. Are they really going to just be super excited to pay $24 for something like this? I really don't see it. I really don't think so, if I'm being honest. Even stuff like this, a shirt that is for military members. What do you think of the design? I, I honestly think it's a little bit generic. I don't, I don't think it's well done. It's kind of generic, it's kind of amateurish, and it sort of looks like something that you would see at the front of a Walmart on sale for $5. This is, again, something that is going to hold t-shirt sellers back, is that it is just so saturated. If you're gonna do shirts, you have to actually create a design that is like really unique, that is really nice, that actually is something that looks like it is a high quality product, not just a generic shirt that you see everywhere uh, when you are out shopping. Now let's say for a moment that you are someone who can create really awesome designs, or maybe you are gonna hire a designer to make you really awesome designs to help you stand out. There are still two other reasons why most people are still going to fail with shirts, even if they create awesome looking designs. The one most common that I see is that shirts are just so saturated. Think about this, whatever niche you are currently trying to sell in, imagine how many others are creating shirts for that same niche. Let's go on Google real quick. We're going to type in t-shirts for mom and just see how many results we have. Look at that, look, how, look at how many other people are doing this same exact thing. All right, now let's type t-shirts for veterans. Again, we're seeing a very saturated market. This is a major problem for t-shirt sellers because it is going to be very difficult uh, for you to stand out. It is going to be very difficult for you in a direct response marketing environment to actually show something to someone that is so unique and so well done uh, to actually get them to buy. It's going to be difficult for you to do that. And again, everything that I'm talking about in this video, if you don't agree, that's perfectly fine. I'm just sharing my experience from running my own POD stores to working with clients and also being the owner of a Facebook group with 42,000 print-on-demand store owners in it. I see posts every day from people selling 
selling shirts, that are struggling, that are wor wondering if they should give up. I make videos here on my YouTube channel where I review stores all the time that are selling shirts, and then I notice that the store that I reviewed maybe three months ago is no longer in operation because the owner decided to close it down because it failed. Now, let's say that you are someone who does break through that saturation, right? You say to, you say to me, Joe, you know what? I'm really good at design. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to attempt this and I'm going to succeed. And let's say that you do make some sales, right? Let's say you do break through and you're able to make some sales. There's something that is really going to hold you back from being as successful as you want. And this is something that you don't really have a lot of control over. What I'm talking about is the potential profit margins associated with shirts. Here's an example. This is the best-selling t-shirt from Printful. It's going to cost you $12.95. Now, if you're going to use any sort of paid traffic, which again is what most people want to learn how to do, you are going to spend on average about $10 or more to acquire a customer with those ads. And I'm talking about Facebook ads. How do I know this? Well, both from personal experience and also this study right here, which looked at millions of dollars in ad spend and found that on average, advertisers are spending about $11 to make a sale. They have to spend $11 to show the ad to enough people before they find one person that is willing to buy it. Now, what does this mean for you? Well, it means that if your shirt costs $12.95 and then you are spending another 11 on advertising, let's just call it 10, if you're selling that shirt for less than $23, you are going to be losing money. Now, let's say that you sell it for 25 well good job you made two dollars or let's say that you're selling it for 27 good job you made four dollars if you want to get to the point where you are profiting hundreds or thousands of dollars every month you're going to have to make hundreds or thousands of sales every single month that's no way to run a business people that are finding real success with print on demand and when i say real success what I'm talking about is not buying Lamborghinis. What I'm not, I'm not talking about buying mansions with a print on demand business. What I'm talking about is creating a print on demand store that generates a few hundred or a few thousand dollars a month every single month consistently. What I'm talking when I'm talking about those people, most times they're not selling shirts. I don't really know anybody that is doing that currently with shirts. And before I tell you what to do instead with real examples, let's just recap, right? Most people fail with t-shirts, right? Because they create a clothing line with no niche or they create designs that are either too generic or even if they're good, they don't really stand out and then the margins associated with shirts are really small. Right? Those are those are three things that if someone was to tell me about that before I got into print on demand, I might think twice about actually selling shirts. So what should you do instead? Well, remember those screenshots I showed you at the beginning of the video of people making big sales? Well, again, those are those are clients of mine. They're not selling shirts. They're selling high margin print on demand products. They're doing everything the same that you would with shirts. They're choosing a niche, making great designs, building a great looking store, running ads, except the products that they're selling make them sometimes 10 times the profit than t-shirts. To me, there is no reason why you would not want to sell a higher profit product. I'm not talking about something that costs hundreds of dollars. I'm simply just talking about a piece of print on demand jewelry like this or a hooded blanket like this or car seat covers like this or leggings or print on demand shoes or an all over printed hoodie or a piece of uh, wall art for someone's room like this. I'm not talking about really advanced products here. I'm simply just talking about products that are way more profitable than t-shirts. And like I said before, if if you are someone who does succeed with shirts, let's say that you put in the time, you put in the work, you're able to make sales, you're still just not going to be making that much profits and you would be much better off just switching 
choosing a more high profit product and making a bunch more profits in the process. Let me show you an example. Let's take a look at this t-shirt right here. This is something for the teacher niche, right? It's a t-shirt for people who are teachers, right? If you are able to create something unique enough for a niche like this, again, you're gonna profit one or two, maybe $3 per sale. Awesome job if that's what you want to do. But again, you're gonna have to make hundreds of sales every single month to actually have any sort of real income from your POD business. A much better option would be to do what this store is doing right here, right? Selling shoes to the teacher niche, right? Check out these designs. This store is likely crushing it. You can see some of the ads that they are running right here and they are likely, first off, when they're using direct response marketing and their customers see the stuff, they're likely much more interested in this stuff because it's not just your typical t-shirt with a random quote and a couple of silly icons or something like that. Here's another example here. This is a t-shirt for people who like gardening or like plants. Again, if you can create something unique like this uh, for the gardening niche, good job. You're going to make a couple of dollars per sale. However, if you're able to create something much more unique like this store is doing right here, you're going to be able to uh, collect a lot more in profits on every single one of your sales. Like I said, these two stores, they're essentially doing everything the same. They're building out a Shopify store, they're choosing a niche, they're making designs, and then they're promoting them. However, because of the products that they're selling make them a little bit more profits, they're likely able to scale this business a lot higher than someone who is doing the same thing with a t-shirt. Honestly, I think most people uh, default to selling t-shirts because they are just new and they don't really know any better, honestly. They're watching YouTube, they're seeing people make videos about uh, with a t-shirt, with a pug on it who is drinking a coffee or a pug who is riding a surfboard or something like that and they think, okay, if I just create silly designs like this one I showed you earlier with the car, then they can succeed. And the, and the fact is that most people fail. Most people run their print-on-demand store for about 90 days and then they give up. Again, like I said, I'm, I'm not just being a pessimist. This is this has been what I've seen. This is I'm I'm I've been doing this for a while. I've been running the POD Ninjas Facebook group for a long time. I'm I'm just speaking from experience. If you if you disagree with me, that's fine, but you can't disagree with what I've seen because you can't argue with a fact. I've seen so many people fail with shirts, whether it's because they didn't pick a niche and they are just building out a clothing line because that seemed fun and someone on YouTube said it, that they could do it, or maybe they just create silly generic designs like I've shown you here in this video, and then when they promote it with ads, either no one is interested or even if they are interested, they can't make a profit because the t-shirts are so low margin. You would be much better off choosing better products that you can make some more margin with and it's going to help you to cut through some of that saturation. And like I said at the beginning, if you guys want to come join the POD Ninjas Facebook group, I do weekly live trainings there. You guys can join. You guys can see what other people are doing. You can start to see uh, a big difference between those that are posting about their t-shirt store compared to those that are selling some other products. And like I said, that link is down in the description um, to join the POD Ninjas group. And also, if you're just getting started and you want to check out a free course, the link to my free course is going to show you how how to successfully start a Shopify store, how to open the store, how to create the account and all of that stuff. It's even gonna walk you through the process that, that I would use to create a great print on demand product to sell on your store. That link is down in the description as well. So like I said, hopefully uh, you guys did get something out of this. Like if you're someone that is just getting started with print on demand, you have no idea what you're doing and you wanna start t-shirts or even if you're someone who has uh, been doing this for a little bit and not getting the results uh, that you want. But let me know down in the comments uh, what what you think. If you agree with me, if you don't agree with me, whichever, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, my experience is uh, my experience. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video.